Why? We're going in the cantaloupe business. Cantaloupe? Ever hear of Dan Long? No, the name doesn't mean anything to me. He's an Imperial Valley man. Apparently very important in that area. What does he want us for? Well, the melon season is at its peak right now. He leases several farms on both sides of the border. He likes to keep on top of his operations and feels a helicopter is his best bet. Sounds like a man that can pay his bills. When do we start? This afternoon. He lives on a ranch just this side of Calexico. And I have the directions here. I still think it's too dangerous, Dan. Oh, stop worrying. We'll have a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of gold bullion in the basement. I'm going to take every ounce of it into Mexico. I know, but I'm worried. What about Wally? Can you trust him with all that gold around? Why not? Where is he going? Look, you've got to have an organization to smuggle anything past the United States Customs. Without organization, you're dead. Besides, he's getting his cut. That's all he wants. I guess you know what you're doing. I'm going out and wait for the helicopter. My name's Martin. This is my buddy P.T. Moore. Well, I'm glad to know you, boy. Mr. Long. You ready to go to work? You mean this afternoon? Yes. I'd like to go down to Pascalito. Uh, got a big shipment going out of there in the morning. I'd like to check on it. Well, no reason why not. Come on into the house. I want you to meet my wife. Love to. Come on in, fellas. Edie, I, I'd like to have you meet these boys. This is P.T. Moore, and this is Chuck Martin. Hello, Miss Long. How do you do? How do you do? Nice to meet you. My, this is a lovely home. Must give you a nice, solid, secure feeling to live in a place like this. Mm. There's nothing makes you feel more secure than being happily married, huh? Well, uh, sit down. Make yourself home. Well, Mr. Long, if you want to get down to Pascalitas, I suggest we better get going. Why don't we stop this Mr. Long business? Call me Dan. All right. But I think you're right. I do want to get down there before dark. Bye, dear. Bye, Ms. Long. Bye. Thanks for the coffee. Mm, you're welcome. Hey, someone's fooling around with a copter. No, oh, no, that's, that's Wally Otis. He's one of my men. He's probably getting a big kick out of looking at your helicopter. He's a kind of a mechanical nut. <laughs> How do you like it, Wally? Oh, it's great, great. We're flying over the border tonight. Won't be back until morning. Uh, the convertible's idling a little fast. Would you mind checking it for me? Oh, sure, sure. Everything else all right? Yeah, just fine. Don't leave the grounds tonight. Right. Save your money. Is that how you did it? 
Well, I guess you have to have a little luck. Well, I might have a chance then. Trouble? No, we'll be over the border in a few minutes. We have to check with Mexican customs. We're not carrying anything, so it'll just be routine. Where's Long? Mexico. I told him I'd probably be in this afternoon. Well, he wasn't sure. He promised us some money. You'll get it. You better put this inside. Now drive it in, Jack. Hey, Jack! Put that stuff in the basement. What are you, the new general? No, but you guys could use one. The way you operate, it's a wonder half the treasury agents in the state aren't here already. You got a lot of nerve, haven't you? It's what I got up here that counts, Olson. Now get moving, I don't want you around here too long. Look, wise guy, you're gonna help. Just do what you're told. What's the meaning of this? Wally, are you hurt? No. Get that stuff out of the car. Do as he says. Come on in the house. I'd like to have you meet a couple of friends of mine. This is Chuck Martin and P.T. Moore. Hello. Mucho gusto. Hello. Chuck Pego has some water things. The table? The best you have, Victor. Make them no steadies. I 
think you would be back so quick? Well, I have to move around pretty fast these days. I want you to meet my flyers. Boys, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Carmelita, this is Chuck Martin and Petey Moore. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? Buenas noches, señores. Sit down, join us. Thank you. Are you trying to get rid of us in a hurry, Victor? What do you have? I think I'll try the Mole Roja. I'll have the same. Make it three, Victor. Where are you? Something bothering you, Dan? This is my busy season, Carmelita. Oh, you're always busy. I hope they hurry it up. I'd sure like to turn in early tonight. You never hurry away before. This is my busy season. What's the quality of the stuff they brought in? 100% fine. Here, take a look at this. You know, Dan wants to take most of it over in one trip. With that helicopter, I think it might be possible. I hope so. I feel better when this whole business is over. <laughs> oh, Wally. I'm so scared. I wish you and I could just disappear. We will. It's just a matter of time. We might even be able to do it this week. Once we get that stuff out of the country, I can pick up my share abroad. After that, we're set for life. Forever. Hello, I'm Chet Law with news of another fine Conoco Royal Service Plus. Conoco guaranteed radiator protection. Yes, guaranteed the whole winter through at no extra cost to you. Now here's how it works. Your dealer will check your car's cooling system, make sure it's watertight. Then he'll drain and refill with Conoco Permanent Type Antifreeze. Guaranteed to protect your car's engine even to 40 below zero. Every time you stop by, he'll recheck that cooling system. Make sure you're not losing more than five degrees protection. If you are, he'll add enough antifreeze free to restore the original protection you paid for. And best of all, your Conoco dealer gives you his winter-long guarantee in writing. Once he signs it, your car is covered until May 1st so, friends, why settle for anything less than Conoco's guaranteed radiator protection? From Conoco, hottest brand going. You know, I wish I'd thought of this helicopter a long time ago. I've covered more ground in the last six days than I usually do in six weeks. <laughs> I'm not going to cover much more ground unless we gas up. Now well, we can take care of that in Mexicali. You know, I've got a meeting there with my partners today, but I'd like to bring Edie down. Would, uh, would you fellas mind going up for her? Not at all. I'll be glad to. No, it'll be a change for her. Probably gets a little dull around the house. back to Pascalitas. Yeah, I know, Mr. Long called. She had a little bad luck. Her car broke down. I'd have gone after her myself, but Mr. Long likes someone around the grounds all the time. Well, where is she? Uh, she's at El Centro, Anderson's garage. Well, we'll fly up and pick her up. Uh, I think it'd be a little more convenient if you drive in. You see, the garage is in the middle of town. You can take Mr. Long's car. All right. Hello, Edie. They're coming. I'll need about two hours. I'll take care of them. I'm counting on you, baby. Don't worry, darling. I'm sorry. 
sorry to be such a nuisance. Not at all. I have to stop at a hosiery shop. Dan's ideas are so impromptu, he's always catching me when I'm not ready. Oh, and I have a doctor's appointment I can't cancel. It may be some time. I'd hate to be such a bother. No bother at all. Is it safe with all that gold? I wouldn't let you fly if it wasn't. I'll take a plane out of El Centro. I won't be more than an hour behind you. Can you handle everything by yourself? Sure. You're not very flattering. No, it isn't you. What do you think it is, Chuck? Might be the wind. I guess we're all right. Your senor is coming. Thank you, Victor. I have to stay away for a while, Carmelita. She'll only be here for a day. Edie, dear, fellas. Hi. Hi. Sit down, dear. Uh, say, Dan, I don't think we better stick around too long. The copter's been acting kind of rough. We want to check it out before we take it up again. Uh, sit down. Have a drink. Well, thanks. We better not take the time. Why not? Well, we want to make sure it's safe before we fly you. You're working for me, aren't you? Yeah. Well, look, uh, be my guest today and work for me tomorrow. We'll fix it then. Sit down. All right. Victor. OK, Ramon, that does it. Let's get these tanks into the truck. But they are. I haul it. Nice work, Wally. Put your hands up. Oh, now what do you think you're pulling? You did a nice job, Wally. This is the end of the line. The boss doesn't need you anymore. Get moving, Raymond! Senor Long, please. Excuse me. Sherry. What's the matter? Olsen just called. Wally got away. Are you sure? Yes. Well, there's been trouble out at the helicopter. We have to get out there fast. You're staying here. I think I winged Wally. I knew you couldn't trust him. Wally? What was Wally doing here? That's what I want to find out. They must be on their way to San Luis. Look, I know he didn't hire you fellows for this, but I'd appreciate it a lot if you'd help me find them in the helicopter. We're wasting time. Come on, let's go. Down, it was a little sluggish. Oh. They can't 
have too much headway. Are you sure there's not another road? There's only one, and that one's it. Mexicali police helicopter to helicopter 75 Bravo. Mexicali police are calling. Don't answer. Why not? Just don't answer them. I'm afraid we have to. We'll lose our license otherwise. Look, I've got enough gold in that truck to buy you all the licenses in the world. Yeah, well, we like the one we have in the United States. Mexicali police helicopter to helicopter 75 Bravo. Come in. 7-5 Bravo, helicopter 7-5 Bravo. Don't ever do that again. Helicopter 7-5 Bravo to Mexicali Police. Come in, please. Over. Mexicali Police helicopter to helicopter 7-5 Bravo. This is Wade, United States Customs. You're in violation of Mexican Customs. Proceed immediately to Mexicali Airport. 7-5 Bravo to Mexicali, please. That's fine with us, but we're trailing a truck you may want. Should we come on in or stick with them? Over. What's your position? Approximately 20 miles from Pascualitos, headed due east, directly over the San Luis Road. Proceed on your course. We're on our way. Keep us advised of your position. Roger and out. Hold it, Raymond. That can be Dan Long. We gotta get out of here. Why do we run away from Mr. Long? Just drive the truck, Raymond. Que será, será. There's the truck. Yeah, we won't let him get away. Helicopter 75 Bravo to Mexicali, please. We spotted the truck. We'll try to hold him till you get here. Out. Long Uncle Sam now. What do you mean? Try lifting one. Feel like they're loaded with something. It is. With pure gold. You mind letting us in on what's happening? This is a gold smuggling ring. They high-graded gold in the States and brought it across the border. They can get around $100 an ounce for it in Europe, three times the American price. You fellas, we're flying a couple of hundred thousand dollars worth of gold. How'd they get the gold in the tanks? Wally is one of the best goldsmiths and mechanics in the business. He split the tanks and sealed the gold inside. It's been done before with autos. That's what made the ship handle funny. Yeah. How do you happen to be in on the arrest? A tip. An informer. That's the way we usually find out. You might say Long had one girlfriend too many. Carmelita. That's in the category of confidential information. This case broke a lot faster than we thought it would. I've got a hunch there was some double crossing. Fortunately for you, we know enough to know you're in the clear. Well, they sure made us look foolish for a while. Yeah. But I don't get one thing about Carmelita. She was making a play for long. You know what the informer's cut is in these cases? No. 25%. Wow. Some people will do anything for money. They sure will. <laughs> 